Now to a GMA consumer alert. Millions of Americans are enjoying new cell phones after the major holiday shopping weekend or they're asking for one this Christmas. But what happens when you trade in or you sell your older model? Does your information truly get wiped off? That is the question that Becky Worley is here to answer. She took a closer look. Hey, Becky. Hey, Michael, you have your whole life on your phone. So when you sell it, it's key to erase all that data. Here's an example of what can go wrong. We know of a case where a teenage girl said she traded in her broken iPhone only to find someone thousands of miles away bought it, accessed her info, and wound up harassing her through social media. And that's just the start of it. When it's time to upgrade and trade in or sell your phone, don't we all experience this? I was going to sell this for a few bucks online, but I don't know how to make sure my information's deleted. This is kind of a wide array of iPhone 6s, 7s. Enter OnTrack, the world's largest data recovery company. We're inside its top secret clean room where they restore and wipe data from phones to see how much and what kind of data is on used phones in the marketplace, they purchased 25 phones on various websites. There's a lot of significant data here. Out of all these phones, they find three with potentially damaging personal information. Two of the phones purchased on Facebook Marketplace, the other on eBay. Engineer Steve Hershka shows us what they found. Here we have his Hotmail account. I could request a, a password reset. I could set it to whatever I want. There's a lot of damage I could do on this phone. That's not all. OnTrack finds text messages, contacts, emails, and pictures. Pay stubs, looks like ADP's pay stubs. Holy uh, Bank of America. So I could request a copy of my W-2. I'd get their whole sure. social security number. Yep. One phone is still logged into Facebook, email, has passwords saved in the Notes app, and some very personal photos. Yikes. We have all the photos from the camera roll uh, that include some risque photos that I'm guessing a lot of people wouldn't want. Oh, man. When OnTrack purchased the phone, it had a damaged screen. But after plugging it into a computer, they had full access. It's really important for people to not sell broken phones if they know that it hasn't been wiped. OnTrack says many people don't realize a phone has keys to unlock your financial apps and all your other online accounts. One of the issues is your phone stores passwords. Yes, it is. So they, they store passwords and they store it in plain text. Check this out. By going to settings in your iPhone, then accounts and passwords, you can get to all of the saved passwords. And they're not disguised. This is one of our engineer's phones. Mm -hmm. He has 108 website and app passwords stored on his phone. This is everything from access to the camera in his home to the insurance that he has. This is his whole life. Yeah, PayPal. Ebay, everything. Yeah, everything. The passwords are protected by another layer of security. It requests your passcode. But in our engineer's case, that might not protect you. His passcode, he told you, but it's... Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> it's all zeros. Not very clever. It would have it been on the list of things to try. Which underscores the all-around importance of a strong passcode. There's so much data saved on your phone. Facebook and eBay remind customers to wipe their phones before selling them. And Apple says it only takes a few easy steps to do that. So here's how. You go to Settings, General, Reset, and Erase All Content. You can do that in the phone or if the screen's broken, Michael, plug it into your computer and see if you can do it in iTunes. So important. Oh, very important, Becky. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that information, especially with all the new phones being sold for the, for the holiday. All right, thank you. And you can get instructions on how to safely erase your phone on our website. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.